It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. Ladies, gentlemen and my dear fellow mammals. The State of Survival 3rd Year Anniversary event is here. With this comes many spending events, but if you were to cast your mind back to last year's anniversary event, the rewards were really good for free to play and low spenders players alike. The State of Survival 3rd Year Anniversary event has been launched on the 31st of August in states 649 to 660 for test, for the game team to gather anniversary feedbacks and issues to be reported in advance. All the features and events will officially start from the 7th of September in all the live states, and the anniversary celebration in-game will last for around three weeks. As such I will divide my content into three stages, covering each stage as we progress. In today's video, I will look to cover the contents of the first stage of the anniversary event. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. There are many things going on, and what caught my attention of the events are all connected to one another. Day of Hope, Music Party, at Stage 1, the expectation is for you to be collecting these unique supply crates and then donating them into this event page. There is a daily donation rewards cap of 20 maximum, but if you are super active, you can continue to grab these unique supply crates, thus leading to a higher ranking. Ultimately, the higher that you rank, you will gain more of the master tape reward at the end of the week which is the currency that you'll need in the Anniversary Fest event page. I will come back to the Anniversary Fest event page later, but for now, you will want to know how to get these unique supply crates. So far I've only seen two way to obtain these supply crates. Firstly is through the Supply Rush event. It's pretty easy to find the Supply Hub. Go to your event hub and select this avatar that looks like a dockyard. You will notice that you only have 20 chances to loot the Supply Hub. To collect the rewards, check your in-game system messages. I noticed that the rewards seems pretty constant with 3 master tape, 3 supply crate, 25 bio caps and 1k resource supply crate. Remember, the master tape is the currency you need in the anniversary fest event page. Meanwhile, the supply crate is the currency you need in the day of hope event page. Then the second way to obtain these supply crates will be through the special crates that splash out from the supply hub. I noticed that these splash happens every time the bar is reset to a new number to level 18, 15, 12, 10, 8 and finally at 0, where there is a double crate splash. I also noticed there are three different special crates, gold crates, silver blue crates and bronze crate. The gold crate are more precious, providing a greater selection of rewards, and I've noticed their drop rates were lower. This is followed by the silver blue crates, providing a good selection of rewards, and finally the bronze crate, which there are many. However, the bronze crates hides a sinister misconception as these provide the unique supply crates needed to rank high in the Day of Hope event page. So do not be misled. There seems to be no limits to loot these gold, silver blue and bronze crates. First come first serve my fellow mammals. Next, as promised, let's look at the Anniversary Fest event page which is a little gem of a diamond that I found. However before we start, I do want to share with you a gem of a secret. I've been using Paxify for some time now, and it has helped me to grow stronger whilst saving a bucket's load of monies. Trusted by many top players in State of Survival, it has also received hundreds of amazing feedback. If you are struggling to hammer your opponent down, but don't want to sell your liver to grow stronger then you might want to look into Paxify. Paxify will help you grow stronger, and you will even be spending less monies than before. Paxify will offer survivors the best possible discounts out there. Depending on your country you can see savings between 10 to 25%. If you like the sound of this then check out their link in the description below. If you are worried about the safety of your account details, then bind your account to Fun Plus, and you will never lose access to your account because it can never be unbinded. It is impossible to lose access to your account with the Fun Plus bind. So what are you waiting for? Check out their link in the description below and start growing stronger with Paxify whilst saving yourself a bucket's loads of monies like me. As I mentioned earlier, 
The master tape is the main currency needed to rank high for this event. The more master tape you collect, the more mini gramophone you will obtain and progress through the level from bronze to gold to unlock the corresponding rewards. The good news is free to play will definitely be able to unlock all the levels as the event spans across three weeks. 100 gramophones will allow you to progress to the bronze level. I'll be straight and say to win the HQ skin, you need to spend some monies. So far the only way I have noted to obtain more gramophones is through the purchases of the purple crate and the gold crate. The £3.69 purple crate unlocks another 150 mini gramophones, and the £7.49 gold crate unlocks another 200 mini gramophones. If you are a low to mid spender, and you want to grab yourself a cheap low cost HQ skin, I do personally believe that these gramophones is your path to it. By purchasing the purple crate and the gold crate, it should allow you to level up until the gold level. Then for another £15.49, you will unlock the DJ Stage Classic Permanent HQ skin. I mean I've never ever obtained a HQ skin for a net cost of £26.67, so I do believe, if the developers do not change the mechanics prior to release to all states, then this is a big bang for your buck. Now there are a further two HQ skin, Ibiza Stage Premium HQ skin, and the Ibiza Stage Classic HQ skin to win. The Ibiza Stage Premium HQ skin will give the owner a 3.5% troop attack boost, whilst the Ibiza Stage Classic HQ skin will give the owner a 2.5% troop attack boost. However, the stage is set for a fierce battle between six states for these premium skins. As I previously mentioned the main currency for ranking high in this event is the Master Tape. There are a number of ways to obtain the Master Tapes. We've already touched on Day of Hope, Music Party, where ranking high in that event will reward you in Master Tapes. We already touched on the Supply Rush event. Then, surprise surprise, the other methods will require you to spend some monies and buy the Day of Hope collection bundle. This has not been released, and I expect this to be released in the final two weeks of the event. The top 10 survivors overall across the three weeks period, yes I repeat three weeks, will become victors for the Abyssa Stage Premium HQ skin, whilst those ranked between 11 to 60 will be rewarded with the Abyssa Stage Classic HQ skin. Finally there is a consolation reward for those survivors ranked 61 to 150 with the Drop the Beat Classic Frame skin. No doubt this will be an expensive event for those that want to rank high for the HQ skin. As you would have realized by now, there are boxes of Roxy dotted all around the event. Well, it's Roxy's turn to be commemorated as a statue. When will it Wacko's turn? I would like a statue too? Maybe Katsilla? Oh well we can keep on dreaming. This event, the Electro Party runs for a week, and there are the usual missions for you to accomplish across 10 days. The task refreshes daily for the opportunity to obtain headphones to redeem one Roxy statue permit and two Electro Party statue surprise chest. A max Roxy DJ statue will give you an additional march capacity of 2000, additional troop lethality of 2%, and additional troop health of 2%. I'm not going to go into details as most survivors should be familiar with these copy and paste statues. However, do take note it will take 23 Roxy statue permit to max out this latest statue. The only note worth mentioned is your settlement will rock and roll once the statue is maxed to level 10. There is also another rubbish statue called Obsidian Violin, but this is truly trash. Most folks in most states do not need additional research speed of 5% and additional construction speed of 5%. So if I were you I would not bother rushing to buy or max these statues as they are pretty worthless. Then there is the Werthy Pot Hyatt event, where throughout the event you can obtain puppers missiles to fire at friends and foes alike to turn them into puppy DJs. For those of us who were old enough to remember the Joker event, we had something similar, so it's good fun and some good laugh. I still have 34 punchline missiles left from the previous Joker event, I wonder whether I could use it? Have you tried it? If you have, can let me know in the comments below. Finally, as most major spending events there is the limited time top-up event spanning across 21 days. For those survivors spending $1,200 across the event, there are some gifts the developers has prepared for your willingness to open your wallet in this event. Ultimately, as I see it the most valuable item on offer is another DJ stage permanent HQ skin and 7 Roxy statue permit. Oh before I forget there is a daily login reward across the 24 days, now it's complete. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching.
If you like my videos, please do smash that banana on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.